I have been doing a lot of thinking on, you know, the time that we're in with quarantine and COVID and how it has really had a lot of effects on a lot of people, whether it's their job, their mood. I'm still able to work. My husband's still able to work at home. But I've been thinking, what can I do for others during this time that could really uplift someone's mood? I'm a dialysis nurse, and so I have really early mornings, and we've been having to work some late nights compared to how late I usually have to work. And so I've been coming home pretty tired, not a lot of time to get stuff done when I get home. And on one particular evening, my mom had made Jay and I an entire meal and dropped it off at the house. That did so much for my heart because I came home, I was able to shower, unwind, didn't have to think about making anything. Not that Jay wouldn't make anything, but it was just nice for the both of us to just sit down and not have to worry about it at all. I just think it is so important to show how much we care for other people, whether it is doing something really small or something even big, but it is especially hard to do those things during a time where we just can't go out and be with people. I know how much it does for my heart and my soul when someone just does the littlest thing for me, and I think it's so easy in the world we live in to get wrapped up in ourselves and everything that we have to get done that we forget to show other people how we care and just really go out of our way to show people that they are loved too. The other day at work, I saw this quote that said, never stop doing little things for others. Sometimes those little things occupy the biggest part of their heart. I came up with three different ideas of what I can do to show some people in my life that they are not going unnoticed and they are not going unseen or uncared for or unloved. So let's go. My mom and I went and did some yard work for my grandparents, which was beneficial in multiple ways. It got us out of the house and in some fresh air. And then my grandparents, it allowed them to stay inside. Their yard work was done for the spring season and they were able to see us through the windows, which was such a blessing to all of us because you really start to miss the people that you can't see very often. So we were able to ask my grandparents what they wanted done, and we also had some ideas of what we wanted to do for them. Like we wanted to power wash off their porch, but then they requested that we bring out all of their furniture to put on the porch. That way they'd be able to come outside and enjoy the weather. It was fun to see how much it touched them that we thought of them and stopped by and helped them. And then it also made us feel really good because not only were we helping them, but we were getting to see people that we loved and how much it meant to them. The next thing I decided to do was write some letters to some people that had really stuck out to me. I decided to write a nurse that has been working right along with people with coronavirus and then I decided to write a lady in our community that I'd made a bunch of cloth masks for people. And for the last person, I decided to write a school teacher that did not get to finish out her retirement year, and I just wanted to show them that they were appreciated and that I was thinking about them. The third thing I decided to do was make a meal for two different people. I decided to make a meal for my mother-in-law. She is also a nurse. And I decided to make a meal for my mom because she made a meal for me. And since she is off of work right now, she has been making a lot of meals for my family. So I decided it would be a good chance to give her a break. I decided to make some homemade chicken noodle soup. And this was the first time I had ever made homemade noodles definitely recommended.
Once I was done making the meal, I put them in some plastic containers, I added a thank you note, as well as some dessert, and then I dropped it off on their porch. For my side of the family, we did decide to eat with them since we had been seeing them this entire time. Overall, these three acts of kindness made me feel so good inside, and I cannot wait to hear and read in the comments what you guys did to help other people.